Okay, this is a continuation of our study that we're doing on what is the <clears throat> purpose of the Torah. And uh, we, we're reading in, uh, from Romans chapter 8 in verse 1. And I want to take the time to go back and read verse 1 again. And then we're going to continue on down reading through this chapter here and talk more about the, what was the purpose of the Torah. Uh, is, the, is the Torah for us today? Uh, or what's the purpose of the Torah? Uh, starting in verse 1 uh, of Romans, Paul makes this st statement here. He says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in of course, if you're reading from an English translation, it says Christ Jesus. But we know from our past study that the actual Hebrew here would have read those that are in Yahusha HaMashiach, the Messiah. Um, Yahusha being the name of the Mashiach, uh, he said he had come in his father's name. We all know that the name of the father, well, all that have been you know, part of my channel know that, that we, um, we have an understanding that the name of the creator, Yahuwah, uh, has been edited out of our English translations. Um, in the Old Testament itself, uh, it's been edited out 6,823 times and substituted with the, the word or the title Lord. And um, But because we've, we've done our study, we know that the Creator's name is Yahuwah. That's the way it's pronounced. It's not pronounced as Yahweh or these other variations, Yehovah or Jehovah, or his name is pronounced Yahuwah. And uh, the Mashiach, the Messiah, said he had come in his father's name. He also declared that if you've seen me, you've seen the father. He also declared that he and the father were the, were the same or the one. Uh, you'll find that in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 30. Um, so we know and understand also through our study of the Old Testament, the Tanakh, that Yahuwah declared in many scriptures, that we don't have time to go through all those again because I've done those on my past videos, but he, had, he declared that he was our Savior, our only Savior, um, Yahuwah. That's who declared, the Creator, that's his name. He said he was our Savior, our salvation. He was the salvation for the whole world and that those that would look to him would, would receive salvation. And of course, when the Messiah came as Yahuwah manifest in the flesh, and we know that he is because the book, the scriptures declares that he is. He is, he is, uh, according to Colossians chapter one, um, I think verse 18, but talks about the fact is that he, he is uh, the creator of the world, Yahusha. Uh, we also know because of, of the fact that he is our salvation, our savior, that he uh, paid the price for our sins. He said that uh, those that would put their faith and trust in him, that he would uh, give eternal life. That's why he also declared that a man must be born again in order to receive uh, the kingdom of Yahuwah. In order to be able to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah, then it would require that a man must be born again. And that is because Man had sinned and fallen short. He had took on by nature the children of wrath, the nature of Shatan, and that's why it's required that men be born again. That's why just keeping the Torah could not satisfy the demands of our Creator that you be born again. Because if you just, if it was just merely you keeping, uh, say, the commandments or uh, a list of, of items or, or restrictions that you you should not do this or you should do that or whatever, it would have no effect upon changing your nature. The only thing that could change your nature, nature would be to be born again. That's why Yahushua said that you must be born again. We have to understand that man is corrupt. You know, we had this idea uh, somehow that's got crept even into the church today where people think that we're all children of God, they say. We're all children of God, and, and really that's that's not the truth. We're not all children of God. All humans are created we're created by we're created by our creator, but we're not all children of our creator, Yahuwah. You have to be born of his spirit. You have to have his ruach in order to be a child of Yahuwah. And there's only one way to receive the spirit, 
and that is by faith. You can't earn it. You can't uh, do enough keeping the commandments. You can't do enough good deeds uh, in order to receive the Spirit. It has to be by faith. And that's what Galatians chapter 3 uh, is all about, especially Paul wrote about in verse 1. He said, did you receive the Ruach or the Spirit by the works of the Torah or by the hearing of faith? In other words, did you receive the, he asked them that question because why? Because they were trying to go back under the Torah, back under the law, and um, and he pointed out the error of their way that they did not receive the Spirit that way. And so what was the purpose of them trying to go back under the Torah or the law? When really, you know, the thing about it is when you understand the purpose of the Torah, the purpose of the Torah, as we shared in our last video, is to expose your need of a Savior and that you're a sinner. It was to bring condemnation and guilt upon you so you would realize your weakness and inability to keep it. And so it was what Yahuwah used to bring you and I to the, the Messiah to recognize that if you would put your faith and trust in him, that, it would, that you uh, could be declared and made righteous by your faith your faith and trust that he died upon the cross, died and was raised again for your justification, my justification, and those that would put their faith and trust in that, Yahuwah would declare that you were righteous. Just as the scripture declares that Abraham believed Yahuwah and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And for those that would also put their faith and trust in the Mashiach, then Yahuwah counts us as righteous. We'll talk about this more in our next session. Thank you again for sharing these videos. And uh, I love you. Yahuwah loves you. And until next time, shalom.